Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Frey Darkness, or Crisis Averted if you prefer, and in this video I want to go ahead and talk about the pros and cons to the Wii Remote. Now I plan to do an episode of this for every controller in the game, of course featuring gameplay featuring the controller itself, so you guys can see how well the controller itself handles. Now with console with multiple peripherals, you'd think which is a controller for me. And before you go out and spend, I believe it's 40 to $30 on the Classic Controller Pro and $60 on the Pro Controller and I believe $50 for the Wii Remote plus the Nunchuck which is $20. Or you go out and buy yourself a gamepad which you can't buy without the Wii U so before you go out and buy yourself a whole another gamepad because you broke your gamepad. <laughs> Why not figure out which controller is for you? Now, of course, if you'd like to play Call of Duty on um, the Wii, most people will genuinely, generally think that, hey, if you're going to be playing it on a Nintendo console featuring motion controls, go ahead and play it with motion controls. Now, that's where I come in. This is Wii Remote Gameplay, plus Nunchuck. Most people just talk about Wii Remote, but, I mean, saying it's just Wii Remote Gameplay is kind of inaccurate because you are using two controllers after all. It's like saying you're using the Classic Controller Pro when actually you're using the Wii Remote. The Classic Controller Pro is just connected to it. Um, so that's just my way of seeing things but with that said let's get to the actual pros and cons. So the Wii Remote suffers from a lot of cons but let's start with the pros here. Now the pros I find are exceptional. The controller layout on the Wii Remote and Nunchuck is exceptional in my opinion. Jump is right there, knife is right there, sprint, uh, leap, shoot, aim, crouch. It's basically, the way that the controllers are laid out are perfect, in my, <clears throat> in my opinion. Because you can drop shot extremely easily, you can knife and jump with ease, you can change weapons, change, look at the score, go to the menu. Basically, everything is just, the, the buttons on the controller are just in such perfect positions. On top of that, it has exceptional accuracy. You can move, and because you're actually aiming with your wrist and not your really your thumbs, you can aim at your enemies pretty quickly. As you tend to generally move whichever way you're aiming on the screen, it can help you. It can help guide you, so you're actually on target uh, before the enemy who most likely isn't using a Wii Remote is. So it can definitely help you get the surprise on enemies and hip fire with this thing is exceptional as well. It is extremely easy to hip fire with this and a lot of people say, or a lot of people have said over the years that really all your bullets go towards that little dot. Well, that's not in fact, it's not correct at all because there is spread. That dot in the center relatively means nothing. I'm not totally sure why they still keep it. I guess it's just to keep it so you can tell it's the Wii remote, I guess. There's still spread. Oh, trust me, there is. But with the Wii remote and the fact that you can guide the Wii remote pretty easily, is it makes it somewhat easier to hip fire. I actually ran some tests before, and it turned out that hip firing with the Wii remote was, in fact, a lot easier than hip firing with the Pro Controller. I'm not sure with the other dual analog controllers, but with the Pro versus the Pro Controller, hip fire was a lot better. However, I do find uh, some other benefits from this controller, such as, hmm, let's think of it. You, when you get flashed or stunned, you can actually guide your Wii Remote across the screen to shoot the enemy. So that's a, a definite, a pretty cool benefit there. So you can kind of cheat those situations, and do and you find yourself in a lot of situations where you're proning and you can't really move to aim to your right or to your left without having to stand up first well here's what the Wii Remote shines because you can actually whip your controller up and aim towards the corners of the screen easy as enough really without having to get up so it's a great benefit for campers as well I'd hate to say it but let's get to the cons the pros were pretty good but let's, let's hear about the bad issues and Let's get to it. Um, so, as much as I like to say the Wii Remote is a perfect controller, it does suffer from a lot of problems. A lot of those problems consist really down to the motion control concept itself. 
using killstreaks is probably my biggest pet peeve with the Wii Remote. It is extremely difficult and tedious to control killstreaks with the Wii Remote because, unlike with analog controls and how killstreaks are set up for analog controls, you have to actually aim with your wrist. And of course, you can set it up so you can control your killstreaks with a nunchuck, but that just seems a little bit weird. I guess this doesn't really come down to a, a big issue as much as a user problem, personal one. It also suffers from accuracy problems. Now I find myself, of course, I'm using aim assist, so that's the only real way I can aim. I don't truly totally understand why though, since I always used to run without aim assist and I mean Black Ops I managed to get a 3.10 KDR using a Wii Remote and no aim assist and for some reason uh, since the HD generation of the Wii has come around I haven't been able to be as successful with the Wii Remote as I previously had. I try to copy over my settings, but there's these new settings in there that I just can't simply copy over. I've tried to adjust them myself, but it, it tends to become a little bit difficult. Uh, and that's another pet peeve of mine with the Wii Remote is you gotta customize the controls to suit you. You will be exceptional if you customize the settings to suit you, but it's very difficult. You have it, it, Personally, for me, it's fairly difficult. It comes from trial and error, and I just have to keep correcting the settings as I go along to eventually feel like I am perfect with the settings and genuinely happy. So, there are some pros and some cons. Another con here would be that it's very difficult to snipe with the Wii Remote. It really is. As someone who's loved sniping ever since he played his first Call of Duty, and, by the way, that will... First Call of Duty was on PS2. As someone, well, uh, as someone who's played Call of Duty on Wii, a first on, for the first time online, was on Wii. I love motion controls, and they're genuinely good. And as far as sniping went, when everyone used the same Wii remote setup, I, I think it was pretty fair. But when there's other controllers out there, such as Dual Analog, it kind of makes you feel inadequate when you're sniping. So, sniping is a tad difficult. I've seen people do amazing things with the Wii remote in terms of sniping. So, of course, I think this just comes down to user-related issues, but I mean, my first time using the Pro Controller, the Classic Controller Pro on the Wii, uh, I posted the gameplay on YouTube, you guys can search it up on my channel. I managed to get a collateral no-scope through a wall that I didn't even re realize I had gotten until I went back and looked at the gameplay, and, and basically, I went on a tear, I, went on a, I got like a quad, six feet. First gameplay, can you believe that? Versus Wii Remote gen generally getting, if I'm lucky, a collateral uh, once every two weeks. If I'm lucky. But, so, in terms of pros and cons, the pros mainly listed here are you have exceptional uh, hip fire accuracy, you are, you tend to be ready and uh, more uh, quick to act than you are with other controllers. So, yeah, along with that, you are also able to guide your controller on the screen while flashed and stunned are in awkward positions to aim at your target, as well as just the genuine fun of using a Wii Remote and motion controls with a Call of Duty game. You can't do that anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen. The cons are pretty severe. Of course, you can't accurately snipe, at least not for me. You can't, in fact control killstreaks very well, and all in all, it just seems to be a little bit more inaccurate as well. I seem to be more accurate, and, and from statistics, from looking at my previous games, my pro controller accuracy was around the 20s, uh, 25s to 30s, where my Wii Remote accuracy ranged from the 11s to the, the well, I want to say 20s, but it was probably around 17s. So it's definitely a lot more accurate to use uh, dual analog, but for quick action and for rushing, the Wii Remote is just exceptional at what it does, and everything is right there, perfectly fitted and suited for you to jump over obstacles, knife people on in an instance without even think of it, thinking about it. And a huge bonus is, unlike with the Pro Controller that I use, I don't mix buttons. I don't mix and mash buttons when I play on other consoles' controllers because the Wii Remote is just not any, in any way familiar to a DualShock 3, for example. So that's definitely a benefit. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. And of course, try out whichever controller you feel like trying out. I really do rec recommend the Wii Remote. It's 
It's very fun and it definitely offers a new experience. But of course, if you are tight on cash and you want to buy a controller, just levy the options and what personal, personally you think you're going to have more fun with. Thank you guys for watching.